I came to the cemetery in the hazy heat of autumn, where the crosses creak as they split, to my grandmother Maria Iasfavna and bought flowers at the gate in the era of silent movies Grandmother S. Braids where a formed into a tight wreath, and neighbor ladies in the smoke-filled kitchen called her the commissar My grandmother beat me very little a shame that her hand grew tired of beating, for, in the opinion of a bathhouse attendant, I deserved nothing but boiling water. I teased her cat in utter bliss to be sure no one called me a sissy. I swapped her eight volumes of history for three volumes of man and woman. A great soccer game was at hand Yugoslavia versus the USSR. I filched her gold wedding ring after hiding secretly in the chiffonier and that ring, heavy and reddish, from Grandfather S. Finger, who is no more got into the clutches of a speculator for a mere standing room ticket my grandmother Maria Iasfavna, by merely biting the edge of her lip, so chilled the soup on the table light was covered with Siberian ice. In front of a Robert Taylor poster, back in ration card times, she slipped on the ice by the bakery and lost consciousness and with two fingers raised, white-faced like the old believer Morozova, she repeated only one thing, be thou accursed and I was hiding behind the Primus stove, I thought that granny, for sure, from spitingly pretended to be dying, she punished me and died. To the neighbor's record Rio Ritash fixed her stare straight up, and all the relatives implored me, confess, 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 they continued to curse without stopping, from right and left I was fed up. But grandmother's curse alone stuck in my heart and the ring, staring through the loamy soil, torments. Avenges, and glitters from out of the bones, remove your curse from me, granny, don t be sorry for me, but for my children the guilty, gentle flowers I place on the grave in silence. It never enters my mind that their stems are suspiciously short by the small grey gravestone, knowing all that goes on with people, mother whispers, so grandmother one tea here, they steal flowers for resale here, break the stems. All of us are caught up in resale perhaps, I had brought as my gesture flowers, whose stems had once been broken, but which had been cut clean at the break it makes one shudder in the subway or on a trolley bus to see a couple, cheek to cheek, with all the stems in the younger less happy hand covered with cemetery clay. All broken stems get cut off, and in the shadow of departed shadows tragic is the sale of suffering, but the resale is yet more tragic if there is a tiny mercenary drop in me. Then I don't belong to my family put a curse on me once more, grandmother, and never take that curse away.